Oh no. Do they have the same face? No, no, it's different. But that is, are they, are they brothers? Is one really big and one is really small? I don't like this. I don't like how cursed they look. I don't like the implication that one of them might have been an actual doll before and somehow transferred this doll property on to the other. I don't know who the original is. They could both be the original. I actually think that the big guy here is the OG doll and the child in his lap was once a real human child that somehow got transformed into a doll child? Uh, oh, is, is he naked? That's, what's, what's that between his legs? Is that what I think it is? I don't like, I don't like how long any of this is. I think every one of this person's limbs has been taken from a normal sized limb and stretched out their arms, their legs. It just looks like they're super tall and super malnourished. This is supposed to be a restaurant? You're just eating under this like Dante's Inferno devil nonsense? Do you think it smells in there? Do you think it smells like burning flesh? I bet you it does. I see where, wait, wait at the back there, do you see that? There's a man with glowing eyes. There's a demon waiter and he's bringing you plates of human heads and flesh and phlegm. Oh, okay, oh, when you go a little closer, it kind of looks like a minion on a human body. I don't, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> it looks like he's, he's got like the minion glasses on. He's got a big bald yellow head. Hello everyone and welcome back to Top 10 Central Dark, your place for all things horror. I'm your host Keegan Hughes and as you can tell we're trying something a little bit different today. We are doing a solo video. Hopefully I'm just as entertaining without the crutch that is Lucy. <laughs> we'll see. Let me know how you guys feel about this format down in the comments. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Would you like to see more of me, even closer to the camera, doing more outrageous things? I can make crazier faces if you want. I don't know how good it'll be, but I'll try. Uh, make sure you stick around to the very end for some bloopers, although I don't know how much I'll mess up without the pressure of uh, the Dark Queen, you know, staring over my shoulder. Who knows? Maybe I'll be perfect today. <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, what's going on here? No, what is going on here? I don't even know. Is it, is it surgery? Is it reconstructive? Or are they doing like, a, like an ice pick lobotomy and they're missing the eye socket? The man in the chair does not look happy to be there. Does not look like he's enjoying this surgery. Doesn't look like he chose to get this surgery. He probably was selected from a, uh, a group of folks that really didn't want surgery and he was the, the unlucky contestant. This doesn't seem so cursed, it's just a doll. It's a creepy doll, I'll give it that, but I don't, I don't see it doing anything. I don't see anything super out of the ordinary. Am I missing something? There's the two teddy bears on the side of it, and then there's a doll in the middle, hand in his lap. It's got a normal doll face, kind of creepy. Got normal doll hands, no blood, no freaky eyes. I, I don't know, maybe there's a backstory to this one and I'm missing it. Let me know if you guys know what this, uh, this crazy doll is uh, really up to, because to me, Maybe that's my downfall. As I see this doll, I think it's normal, and then it slits my throat. Just <laughs> Colonel Sanders? Is that the KFC guy behind her? I was thinking about getting a KFC for lunch today, but there was a new Bonmi shop. I'm not gonna talk about my lunch. <laughs> What's going on here? It just it, it, like is somebody being interviewed? What's the, is this? Is this a, a, a portrait of this woman? Whoever's taking this picture does not know how to set their exposure correctly. Their aperture way too wide open, way too bright. This is insane. Is that, is that a ghost behind her? I see the arrow pointing to it. Like I definitely see a man, but is he something special or is he just a man that is walking by as this lady's getting her photo taken? Okay, okay, we gotta, this child is looking at something scary. Oh, is that, is that a face in the door or is that a reflection? Because the kid's looking at something <laughs> that's kind of creepy at the camera. The kid's freaked out, maybe he's having fun. I don't know. The mom's got a kind of a devilish grin, but then there's that face. I don't, that, that to me looks like a reflection. Like it could be interpreted as a face, definitely. It seriously looks like a reflection off a glass door. I don't know. Maybe it is a demon. Maybe this child like is sensing it and his mom isn't. And that's his reaction. Just in time for the picture. Oh, oh no. 
oh, this is definitely one of those like death portraits, right? Like it's like it's like we've got like uh, the wife and the grandson with the corpse of good old granddad because they hired the photographer a month back. He came on horseback, you know. He's he rode into town. He's only there for one day, and old granddad died like two nights before. They're like, you know what? We're not wasting the money. We don't have a picture of granddad. We want to put him up on the mantle so we can remember what he looked like, even if he's looking, you know, a little extra gaunt, a little extra insane with those super wide eyes. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> That's not good. Oh wow, this is like a Facebook photo circa 2008, you know, with the crappy cool pics digital camera, but we've caught something special. <laughs> not Becky doing eight shots, but a ghost. Oh no. Maybe it's not a ghost. Maybe maybe it's just like a creepy guy who ran by just as the uh, the shot was going off and somehow managed to get in and out fast enough uh, <laughs> that he looks transparent. They're taking a long exposure? I don't know. I was home alone last night when my parents were out of town. It snowed off and on for most of the day and night. I woke up the next morning and as I was going to the kitchen to get breakfast, I noticed I wasn't the only one here last night. Oh. Yeah, can you imagine that? Like waking up in the morning and seeing that there had been somebody there, you know, in the snow, just peering into your window. That's wild. That's like, that's like I think one of my worst nightmares. I remember back in the day when Marble Hornets was first a thing and there was the, uh, the one, one of the very earliest entries where you just get like a vision of Slenderman or I guess the operator walking by somebody's window and staring in at them and then them like freaking out with the camera putting it away. That was burned into my brain. Uh. <laughs> what is that big one? What is no no see the rest of the spiders I can understand like that's just like you know you haven't kept your house very clean I guess <laughs> that gigantic right there Unbelievable, I'd fight it. I'd fight it with my fists It reminds me of uh, 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 Oh, what's that level in Bloodborne right before you fight the guy with the cage on his head when you walk in and there's all those giant spiders And there's the even gianter spider it's just like, it's too much. It's too much to have a spider that big. I'm sorry, you know? I think honestly, the smaller spiders are scarier. If I saw a spider the size of like a puppy coming at me, I'd have no qualms just stomping on it, you know? Oh, I love this picture. This is such a classic. I mean, like it is scary, but not when you see it for the hundredth time, right? You're just like, it's like, I don't know. It's like watching a horror movie for the hundredth time. You just appreciate it for what it is. Might have scared you the first time, maybe the fifth time, but now, Incredible. A photo taken of a family's new home as it was taken, a body fell from the ceiling. <laughs> I don't think I read it with that backstory back then. I think I just got that no context. I, if it's a new home, why is a body falling from the ceiling? Is this like poltergeist rules where it was buried upon some unmarked graves? Oh, is this, this is after the, uh, after the, the nuclear bomb touchdown, right? This is the, uh, okay, yeah. This is when they, uh, they, they left their shadow behind. They were just absolutely vaporized. I can't remember if this is real or false. I've, I've learned about this before. And it's like, there's, there's, there's a chance that this is like not actually like somebody's like vaporized body because apparently like the heat doesn't actually go that high enough, like a certain distance from the blast. But either way, like just the fact this exists is like, it's, it's, it's horrifying, it's terrifying, it's awful. The fact that that even happened. And that is it, folks. Scary pictures that shouldn't exist. I think they should exist. I think that the fact that they exist is a testament to our imaginations and potentially a testament to some paranormal activity. Who knows? So what'd you think? Have you seen any of these pictures before? Let me know down in the comments. I've been your host, Keegan Hughes. Thanks for watching. Okay. Scary pictures that shouldn't exist. What if I think they should? And I don't want to think about where that big doll's hand is. It's like that scene in Killer Clowns. No good. No, no. This, this, okay, I, I changed my mind. He's not serving up human flesh. He's serving up bananas. That's a bad joke. I personally do think he looks like Colonel Sanders. Maybe it's him back from the dead to hawk some more fried chicken. I personally wouldn't mind if I had my picture taken that I turned around and there's a ghastly image of Colonel Sanders. He's like, eat. And he handed me some ghost chicken, I'd eat it. I'd probably die, become a ghost, and then I'd have to go peddle fried chicken as a ghost. But hey, such is life, or afterlife. Yeah, that, that, that seems like, they, they both seem very happy to be there. Like they're unaware that there's a ghost, and then they're gonna go through their camera later, 
I'm going to take their little SD card out, you know, plug it into their gigantic desktop computer from 2008, and they are going to discover something terrifying. And they are, they're not going to be happy. They're going to post that on, on, their, on, their, on their MySpace page and get a whole bunch of, what, I don't, even, I don't even know what MySpace did. I never had a MySpace. That shows how young I am, right? But like, what do you do on MySpace? You don't, you don't like things, do you? There was no like button. That was like an invention of the Facebook era. Regardless, scary ghost.